hello uh, I'm Shridhar in this video I'm going to explain uh, about how to install Oracle 11G in uh, Windows 7 or Windows 10 64-bit operating system and the software whichever I'm going to use here is uh, Oracle 32-bit uh, 11G okay so first let us see how to get the software so to get the software you can simply just log in into oracle.com and under download section uh, if you go to uh, sorry databases just click on more so here uh, you can see all the database related things and here you can click on <coughs> database 11g enterprise or standard editions so here you can find out uh, this is the one Windows 32 bit it is going to have two files file 1 file 2 and you have to download both and uh, after downloading you have to merge both the files okay now let us go with the installation process so let me go to the software uh, folder so this is the uh, software of Oracle 11G 32 bit so once you come here uh, go to installation folder and here you have OUI which is Oracle Universal Installer just right click on that go for the troubleshoot compatibility as it is a 32 bit oper I mean uh, software we are installing on 64 bit operating system uh, click on try recommended settings see if you observe here uh, settings up already is Windows compatibility mode which is Windows XP service pack just click on start program so your installation will uh, start up automatically installation window start up automatically just wait for a minute on next and yes save these settings close Oracle installation wizard is going to start So, so this is Oracle uh, database 11 to release installer. So now uh, just uncheck this and click on next. Say OK. No, I mean say yes, no problem. So here we are going to create and configure database. Just click on next. Desktop. Yes, click on next. Here you just choose the directory where you want to install uh, informatic. I mean sorry, uh, install Oracle. I'll browse uh, I'll go to C directory and here I have a folder Oracle select so I'm going to use that as a installation directory here you have to enter the administrative password it doesn't accept at the rate so I'm just entering it as Shridhar underscore one two three click on next so this is a summary of all the components that are going to be installed click on finish so installation process started and let's wait until it reaches 100 percent take some time as it is going to have multiple steps that needs to be completed if you observe here this is a preparation process and then copying files this is in progress now then setup of files and oracle database configuration all these things needs to be completed one by one
so it's almost 50% completed and let's wait till it reaches 100% the copy files reached 100% and once it is done automatically setup files step will start so let's wait So setup files also completed. Database configuration is pending. Yes, configuration process started. done the clone database creation in progress is going on so let's wait till it reaches 100% as it is containing three steps like copying database files and creating the starting the oracle instances and completing the database creation so let's wait until it uh, completes the three steps So let's wait till it reaches 100%. It reached almost 85%.
so it is done so database creation is completed it, it will close automatically don't uh, close it manually so now after everything is done we have to uh, do a process called password management so here just click on password management option so this is the place where we will set the passwords for admin user and all so by default these are the users that are getting installed along with I mean along with uh, Oracle so here so usually we use this system and sys as admin user so for this I'm giving username so let us I'm giving it as system I'm just re-entering the password so for this also I'm giving it as system only so normally this is what usually people follows and there is a user called Scott this is the one which is going to be uh, used for practicing uh, Oracle concepts because this Scott user we are going to have default tables so in order to access just unlock this account so it is going to have a default pass I mean, uh, password there is no need of entering here just click on OK So here just click on yes click on okay after password setup and all is done just click on okay so done your Oracle installation is done so just to check out just log in into uh, SQL plus so here the default user is Scott password is a tiger default password for Scott is tiger so it is expired and asking for a new password let's I'll give tiger one you can give any password here so I log in now let us say select a star from EMB this is one table which is available in Scott user so you're able to see so Oracle installation Oracle 11g uh, 32 bit installation on uh, Windows uh, I mean Windows 7 64 bit operating system is successfully completed Thanks for watching this video.